Well, a big shout out to Hitway that have sent me a nice bike to try. I say nice, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'm just going to open it now and we'll take it apart and see what's involved in getting this thing on the road. Hit the road, hit the fun. <laughs> I'm just getting better at it, but it's taken me a lot less time to get this one. Starting to assemble it, got most of the packaging. I've just got to change the bars, move the stem around, get the pedals on, and we're pretty much there. I do like the quality of the mudguards, they're actually quite nicely made compared to the previous one I had. Uh, we've got all the manuals, the charger's really compact, which is great if you're taking it with you. Uh, another standard pump, good size. Decals, I think, for the frame for some reason, if you want to add more. This one also seems to have a suspension seat post at the back, so although it's a hardtail, you've got a wee bit of cushion in here. I didn't actually know that. Maybe it's peculiar to the this model, which is the BK15. So with this Hitway model, you get reflectors, what looks like a battery tail light, I think. Uh, metal, metal pedals, yep. Um, what else we've got in here? We've got the bell. We've got another of those really good Allen key kits. Excellent, which I think also has sockets inside. Uh, that's a spindle for the wheel. We'll get that one in a minute. And, oh yeah, excellent in this one. I didn't get that in any of the previous bikes. But a nice cable lock. Actually, the pedals in this one are a plastic or a nylon of some sort. They don't feel too cheap though. They still feel pretty robust. Just possibly slightly lighter. And there you go, that's it. Surprisingly painless and a lot easier to put the mud guards on than the Duhots version that I had previously. Um, but actually, yeah, overall, I'm kind of surprised by the quality of it. The website doesn't really do it justice. I thought it'd be really nasty looking when it came, but actually it's a lot nicer than I thought. And the frame size looks smaller, so this will probably be used by Jan more than me. Um, it's missing things like racks and stuff and built-in lights, but actually I don't mind it because it's nice and light and simple. There we go, and we're ready to go. I've just done the one mile test ride, and yeah, everything was pretty good. I've got two things to do. That mud guard is clearly on the wrong way around. That's what happens when you don't look at manuals. And the rear brake needs adjusted because it's just not powerful enough. And the brake handle, uh, the brake lever, is just coming in too far. So, we'll tweak that, but I think it's actually, it's a really honest little simple bike. Great introduction to e-biking, I would say, and I think my wife will really like it. We now have the mud guard on the right way around. It does look a bit better. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't spot that in the first place. But, I haven't checked the manuals. Been out for a run for quite a while on the Glen Feshy area. I just want to see if Jan's got enough power left to get back. And oh yeah, we're back to three bars. That's actually all right. So what are my first impressions of the Hitway BK15? It's like a wee dog. I can't think of a better way to describe it. Imagine something that's simple and reliable and just does what you want it to do. It's probably quite a good way to describe the Hitway. 
it's really cheap and cheerful. It's about £550 or so online at the moment and I'll put a discount code below in the video which is pretty amazing I mean like a year or two ago I would never have been able to get an electric bike at that kind of price yes it's not the prettiest because the the battery is external to the frame and it's obviously nice to have that built in but it's simple reliable and Jan said it worked perfectly well you only get seven speed Shimano with it. There's no rings at the front on your gearing. So you've literally only got seven speeds, but you do have three power settings and that'll get you up and down most hills without any problem. I think up to about 25% gradient, which is more than you'll ever do. The cable disc brakes are okay. They're just straightforward and simple. Um, hydraulic would be better, but you're not going to get them at that price. It does come with suspension forks, which again are basic. There's no rebound adjustment. There's nothing you can really do with them. They're just spring loaded and they're there to try and cushion some of the blow. And the same goes for the seat post, which is quite good because it has a suspension seat post, which is more than I've seen in some bikes at uh, a higher price. It has a built in fairly powerful light at the front here. So that's pretty good. In fact, we better just turn that off and keep this battery from draining. Um, Jan's comments on it were that uh, she gets range anxiety on it. When you ride it, the bars drop quite significantly on the battery fairly early on in the journey and she starts to panic and thinks, oh, I need to head back. But basically when you stop and you stop pedaling, the battery suddenly recovers again and actually you've got plenty of time. We managed to do two day trips. Well, I say a day, four hours on the first day and probably two hours on the second day. And it's still got three bars from the original full charge done at home, as you'll have seen in the video. Um, on the downside, I would say, and this is pretty major, is they advertise this is fitting somebody between just over five feet and six foot four. Don't kid yourself, this is a small frame. This really suits like a smaller male, adult, or maybe a taller child or the average female. For me, it's a wee bit tight when I ride it, as you've probably seen in some of the videos. For Jan, it's absolutely perfect. So it's a nice, low-slung, smallish, compact frame, which is great for anyone who's a smaller rider. But if you're taller than probably five foot six or seven, I would say look at another model. Look for something slightly bigger on the frame size. Yes, you can adjust the seat post up and down, but you will have problems in that respect. But yeah, um, as an introduction to e-biking, it's a great way to start, I have to say. And again, you could upgrade some of the components if need be. But uh, for £550, I think it's a great platform to get into e-biking. And it'll do most things on the trail. You could change out the tyres and go more aggressive if you want to do a bit more off-road riding. But you'll be limited by the fork suspension um, in terms of how far you want to throw this and the rough stuff. But as an all-round commuter and as an all-round just simple trail riding, fire trails that we did at the weekend, absolutely spot on. I really can't complain at that kind of level. And you could upgrade it. You could change the brakes, which would be a major one. Um, I would maybe change the saddle to something slicker, but it is comfortable. And it's actually quite nicely made, this one. It does look very much like leather and it's stitched properly. Um, the tail light is battery operated only. So that is not powered by your main battery. It's worth mentioning that. And the display on it is fairly simple. It's not full colour. It's just a monochrome display, but it does exactly what you need. Comes with a wee bell. Yeah, what's not to like? Pretty simple. So thank you for watching. If you get any questions, drop me a line below as always. Um, take a look at Hitway online and see what you think. They've got lots of other models that might suit you. And there's obviously higher spec models too. So this is very much an entry level machine. But for that, it's worked very well and we'll continue to use it. So we'll see you out there again soon. Cheers just now.